Hello, this is the setup for the game Shut the Box. What you need to play the game is a row of numbers, 1 to 9, you can see them along each side here, and you need 9 counters for each player. So each player has 9 numbers and 9 counters. You need a pair of dice, and to keep score what I've got off to one side here are some other different coloured counters. Object of the game is to be the first to win three games. You can have as many games as you like, but that's quite a nice amount just to play um, in a session. So we've got the counters, these ones off to one side. I've made this board quite small so it fits in the video, but uh, you can make it much bigger. It really depends on the size of the counters you've got. So you can see down here, what you need to do in the game is move the counter so it covers the number. So if you've got larger counters like poker size chips or drafts counters, uh, they're going to need to have the numbers a little bit further apart. Yep. Yeah? So this is quite a small version. You could obviously make it bigger. Uh, it's set up for four players. You can play from two to four players. Uh, four is quite a good number, but it will play okay with two or three. If you get more players, you'll want to probably just make another board because you'll be waiting a bit long for your turn because it is quite a quick, simple game. So yeah, every every guy, every set of players needs one pair of dice and the counters. The counters don't have to be different colours. Uh, it doesn't really matter what colour they are. They're only really used to, to actually cover the numbers. So there's no other... Uh, part they play, so they can all just be the same colour, or different colours. So uh, on a player's turn, what they're going to do is just two things. First thing is they're going to roll the dice, and that's a 1 and a 2. The total is 3. It no longer matters that it's 1 and 2, just the total of 3. So with 3, what a person can do on their turn is shut some boxes, okay? And that's where the, na the, the name of the game comes from. And originally the game was actually a, quite an ornate wooden, you would find it played, it's quite an old game, would have been played on quite an ornate wooden board, and these all had lids, the numbers were all covered with lids or, or counters. So, um, to shut the box we simply cover the number. So I've covered the number 3, because the total was 3. I could also cover the 2 and the 1. One of the rules, just to keep in mind, if you roll an even number, let's say you rolled 4 and 2 for a total of 6. Okay, if the player rolled 4 and 2, they can cover 6, yes, or they could cover 4 and 2, just like the dice roll. They could also cover 1 and 5. Okay, what they cannot do, you cannot do with an even number, is just cover the 3. Because you can only cover each box once, and you must cover the full total of the roll. Okay, no leftover, no remainder. So, let's say it was a higher number that was rolled. Let's say the first player rolled 5 and 4, a 9. Now that gives you quite a lot of choices. You could just cover the 9, you could just cover the 8 and the 1, and so on. You can see the combinations uh, as different numbers are rolled. As part of the strategy in the game is which numbers are you going to roll, uh, sorry, are you going to cover and depending on what you roll, let's just say for the first player they cover the 8 and the 1. And we'll explain why you might cover the higher numbers in a little bit. So, second player's turn, they roll a 6 and the 2. Let's say they cover the 8. So they just, you can't really see it there off camera, they've covered the 8 down the end here. And so on around. Each turn is quite quick, like I said before. Oh, third player has also rolled 8. They've decided to go different. And they're going to cover the 6 and the 2. Okay. Once the boxes are shut, the numbers are covered, they, the coin, the counters don't move again during the game. And we've got a 5, so down the back end here, this player will cover the number 5. So coming back around, next turn for the first player again is 9. Okay, they're going to cover the 9. And so on we move around the board. Okay, Players are gradually covering up numbers, and they're going to cover the 6. And we go further around. Uh, that's a 7, so the third player is going to cover their 7. And you can see how it moves quite quickly. I'm going to make the game move quite fast at the moment, so you can see what happens at the end of the round. That's a 6, so 6 is still available for the fourth player there. Now we're back to the first player. First player this time's rolled 5. Let's say they cover 5. 
let's just speed the game on a little bit now and just look at the first player's situation here, okay? Let's say that the 2 and the 3 have also been covered and all that's left is the 4, the 6 and the 7. Let's say it's been a couple more turns. Um, let's see what they roll this time. Now this time they rolled 4. Now that was lucky, okay? Now they cover the 4. They can't cover the 6 or the 7, but they can cover the 4, okay? Now let's go round again and let's assume it's the first player's turn again. What do they roll this time? Oh, very lucky. They rolled a 6. Okay, so they can still keep covering. Let's say on this turn they'd actually rolled 8. Okay? All that's left remaining is 6 and 7. They cannot shut any more boxes, cover any more numbers. So their turn is finished. Other players can keep rolling. Okay? They are out of the round though. And their final score for this round is 13 the sum of the numbers left uncovered. Other players might keep rolling, and let's just say other players rolled, had a little more luck. Um, let's just look. Rolled, rolled, rolled. So let's see what we've got left, okay? So we've got 1, 2 and 5 here for a score of 8. We've got 1, 4 and 9 over here for a score of 14. And 1, 2, and 4 over the back row here for a score of 7. So, the low score wins. Okay? When every player has gone out, the low score of the remaining numbers for each player, the lowest one will win. So we would give um, the fourth player in that case one counter. If two players were tied, I guess you could just give them a counter each. Yeah? And... Um, what you, could, what you do then is start again, uncover all the numbers, and play another round. And first to three. First to three counters, three wins, wins the game. One other thing, another rule that comes into play, and we'll just go back to, let's actually have a look at this player here. Okay, Just ignore the other players at the moment. Let's look at this player here. Let's say they got the, they followed the strategy of high rolls covered first, so there's a 10, 10 is interesting, that would take out the 9 and the 1. Let's also say the 7 and the 6, let's say the 7, 6 and 8 were all gone as well. Um, or let's say the 6 was still there, let's set it up like this. Okay, now the higher numbers have gone, and the 6, 5, 2 and 3 are left. In this situation, the player can choose to roll one dice. Okay, so they roll one dice, and now you can see they've got, oh, but that was a rather unlucky throw. They rolled the one, which is already covered. They would actually go out. But if they're rolling one dice, they roll the three, then they simply use the total of that one dice and cover the three. Yeah? So if you at any time choose to go down to one dice for whatever reason, and when you get to this situation, you really have to go down to one dice. But if you go down to one dice earlier, you can always, on your next turn, go back to two, if you want to. But really, once you get down to the low numbers only left, you go to one dice. And so there's an interesting sort of strategy, simple strategy progression as the game goes on. Which numbers do I cover? Some people have gone out already. What's their score? I just have to go lower than that. So... I think with children as you're playing it, they'll start to see ways where they can make choices to help them do better at the end of the game. And that's it. That's shut the box. Simple, uh, straightforward rules, uh, easy to set up, just those numbers 1 to 9 and a good bunch of counters, and a simple way to keep score, whether it's with chips uh, or whatever you've got, pen and paper, um, any, anything at all. And that's uh, shut the box. Hope you give it a go.